unit are known as the Harp Twins, a fitting name for a pair of sisters passionate about what they do. We almost know what the other one's going to do before they play it. And so. we love doing things together, so being able to have a career where we get to play music together is, is a dream. As the world's only identical twin professional harpists, they were first introduced to the instrument around 12 years old. We got to see it in person and try it, and we were just instantly in love with the instruments. Classically trained with degrees in harp performance, the duo has traveled all over the world and their audiences were anything but ordinary. Some of uh, the artists that we've covered have seen it, including Billy Idol. He said, if you live long enough, you get to hear this version of White Wedding and we had an arrangement of we've that. we've had world leaders in attendance like presidents. Uh, President Obama was at an event we were playing for, uh, former First Lady Laura Bush, Barbara Bush. But it's their sound that makes them unique. While the harp is known for its gentle and flowing sound, the harp twins have their own twist. When we were in, I think it was high school, we decided we wanted to start playing music that harpists hadn't been playing for centuries. So and we looked for music. We listened to a lot of rock and classic rock because that's what our mom listened to. So we started looking for arrangements for harp for those. A sound that's traveled all over the world and heard by many the Harp Twins can now add Alaska to that list. Yeah, this is our very first time in Alaska, uh, let alone our very first time performing in Alaska. And we've always wanted to travel to Alaska. We love northern climates, so this is our dream land, I think. <laughs> Ariane Aramburo, Alaska's news source.